We're taking you field to field with SFP, out visiting with producers, and we're here in Union, Kentucky at Sweeky Brothers Farm. We've got high bottoms and low overflow ground. Our low bottoms are high pH, high organic matter, and then we vary, we go to a higher river bottom, which doesn't overflow, the river don't get on them, it goes to sandy, sandy clay type soil. Back when we used to be all conventional till, it was uh, a lot different than what it is today. We're, we're probably three-fourths no-till now. We used to use all 28, and now we're using a good bit of urea. We have all of our, our nitrogen bought for the 2011 crop, and it all is done treated with Nutrisphere. We're convinced on it, so we're sticking with it. Join us again next week as we'll share with you more from the Swinky Brothers here in Union, Kentucky, as we take you field to field with SFP. We're taking you field to field with SFP, out visiting with producers, and we're here in Union, Kentucky at Swinky Brothers Farm. Well, we've tried different products through the years, and then we've ran a lot of strip tests where we use We've used one, one application of, of nitrogen with Nutrispear or some other products in the past we've tried. We, now the only thing we use is Nutrispear. We tried with nothing. Then we hit some where we split applicated and we used it on one and not the other on side dressing, maybe not the first time then we used. So now everything we, we have all of our, our nitrogen bought for the 2011 crop and it all is done treated with Nutrispear. We're, we're not doing any more tests, we're just gonna use it. Join us again next week as we'll share with you more from the Swinky Brothers here in Union, Kentucky, as we take you field to field with SFP. We're taking you field to field with SFP, out visiting with producers, and we're here in Union, Kentucky at Swinky Brothers Farm. I turned the planter off a couple times last year, and the year before also, just to see if we, if we was wasting our money or not. Well, last year we, where I run uh, with starter fertilizer and I run strips and turned the starter off and I've seen as much as in a, a high pH soil especially, where it's got the veil in it, and we had a, be a one trifoliate or two trifoliates ahead at where the non-treated was at the fourth trifoliate, the, the treated was at the sixth trifoliate stage and we didn't have the purple grant in the striping. We just got a better start and less, lost less plants due to poor root development. Join us again next week as we'll share with you more from the Swinky Brothers here in Union, Kentucky, as we take you field to field with SFP. We're taking you field to field with SFP out visiting with producers, and we're here in Union, Kentucky at Swinky Brothers Farm. It's a family farm, it's me and my brother, and we got a, I have two boys that help part-time, and Russell has a young boy that helps also. We farm on the Ohio River Valley here, uh, about 30 miles, by river, about 40 miles south of Cincinnati, Ohio, and we've got high bottoms and low overflow ground. Last year, what we did, we just used Nutrispear on everything. We figured we gained, according to our yield monitors, and, and weighing about 14 bushel. We're, we're hoping we're not done. We want to see how far we can go. So we keep working and trying to see how high we can get these yields. Thanks to the Swinky Brothers in Kentucky for sharing their story. Join us again next week. We'll continue taking you across America field to field with SFP.